Todd Who the Demons, Episode 3. Burrow Chamber. Doctor, hold this. Joe takes a torch and Doctor holds a small towel up towards the gargoyle. Doctor Chakarawa Pava, Minshin Kalachin. Bulk retreats a few paces and shakes. Vicarage, Master. Why, Pan, what's happening, Bulk? Why do you not attack? You must, you must. There's nothing to fear. It's just mumbo jumbo. Oh, very well, return, return. Barrow Chamber. Bulk obeys the command willingly. Doctor Pew. Joe, how did you do that? Doctor Iron, is that an old magical defence? Joe, but you don't believe in magic. Doctor, I don't, but that he did, luckily. Joe, what was the spell, he said. Doctor, no, it's the first line of an old Vesian lullaby. As a matter of fact, Russian trace said it goes, close your eyes, my darling. Well, three of them, at least. Joe, Doctor. Doctor, I must admit, that the thing took me completely by surprise. What was that? What was it? Joe, what was it? Doctor, it looked like a gargoyle made of stone. Joe, but it's alive. Doctor, in a sense, yes. Joe, but it, that wasn't the, what Mrs. Hawthorne described, surely. Don't know the creature she saw. So it must have been a hundred times more hideous. Joe, and ne neither of them w was a devil. Doctor, no. Not your mythical devil, Joe. But it's something... Far more real and far more dangerous. Vicarage. Master, now you see here, Vin Stanley, this is an emergency. It's up to you to call a meeting of the village and start behaving like a squire. Vin Stanley, well, you may be the vicar, but I think you're not, you may not be take that tone with me. Master, ah, oh, man of spirit, are you? Exactly what's wanted at a time like this, Vin Stanley. I just don't, don't understand what you're talking about. Master Decorance, that's what I'm talking about. I want to see you, I want to see, it's, it's what I see on every side. All this talk of democracy, freedom, liberty. Master fixes Win Stanley with a look. Master, but this country needs a strength, power, and decision. And these are what you can give to it. Win Stanley, yes, you're right, of course. Master, I am a master, I control a power, to save this world. You choose, you can share my triumph. When you say power, what power? Master, I control the forces that were released in Devil's End over the last few hours. When Stanley, all the fuss up in the dig. Are you trying to tell me it was you? Master, exactly. When Stanley, well, that's ridiculous. Master, you need proof, do you? Very well, you shall have it. Master concentrates and a strong wind blows the front doors open. A flower bar off the table. A portrait falls off the wall. When Stanley, stop it, stop it. A furnace pot comes crashing down. The upstairs landing. The master relents. The master relents. Master, well, Miss Stanley, I'll do anything you say. The cloven hoof bar, Hawthorne. Here you are, Doctor. The doctor, well, thank you, Miss Hawthorne. Let me help you. The doctor takes a pile of books from Miss Hawthorne's arms. Hawthorne, thank you. I've picked the finest collection of cult material in the country. Though why you wanted me to bring it, I don't know. Doctor. Doctor, you've been all you've all been asking me for explanations. Perhaps this these will help me to provide them. Hold the full form. Well, there's only one possible explanation. This is supernatural work. this is a supernatural work. Doctor Nonsense. Brenton. Yes, well, what about that thing that got me? That was real enough. Doctor, there's nothing more real than the force field at present. Even psychic so sonic one. Doctor looks at a section of photographic slides. Hawthorne, you're being deliberate of truce. We're dealing with supernatural, with cult, magic. Doctor, science. Hawthorne, science, ma magic. Doctor, science, Mrs. Hawthorne. Yates, look, whatever it is, how do we stop it? Joe, and how can we stop it without not knowing, without knowledge what it is? Doctor, well done, Joe. You've been, doing, you've been logical at last. I'll turn you into a scientist yet. Right, if there's no more interruptions, I'll tell you what it is. Yates, the RT beeps. Yates, sorry, Greyhound, one. Come in, two, coming in. Over. Be in, please, over. Unit HQ, Brigadier. Unit Greyhound, two. The truck, two. 
Is that you, Yates? Now, what's going on there? Yates, I see quite a bit. I don't think you'll believe me, even if I told you. But you know that thing? The thing we can't get past, that's wretched the heat barrier. It insulates everything that tries. Over. But yeah, the things we can't get past, this wretched heat barrier, incinerates everything that tries. Over. Coven of bar. Yates, can't you go round it, Brigadier? Over. Unit of mobile HQ, Brigadier. The thought had occurred to me, Captain. I sent you out on patrol, but as far as I can see, Sergeant Oswald Gold brings a report. Brigadier, well, that settles it. Remember of this thing, the unbroken circle, ten miles. Coven hoof bar, Brigadier, OC, November, diameter. Central being, village church over. Doctor, give me that. Hello, Lefrish to it. Doctor here. What about... What's going? What about going over the top of it? Unit HQ, mobile HQ, Brigadier the RAF are just coming up through over now. Hang on a minute. Are uh, you Phantom Jet flies over? Pilot OC, Red Zero to Groundhog Two, Hellbound Two. No go. Repeat. No go. Last test cast exploded at altitude five five zero zero feet. It's Matt Dome shape area. Above village, approximately one mile high is apogee over Osgood. Thank you, Zero. Four received and understood. Pilot OC over and out. Direct, directly, you hear that, Doctor? We're locked out. Over, Coven Hoof Bar, Doctor. Ah, oh, we, oh, we locked in. Right, Brigadier. Keep in touch, Unit H, Mobile HQ. Brigadier, Doctor, Doctor. Jake's typical. Durban Bar, Hoof Bar. Doctor has drawn a diagram of the dome, the church at centre. Doctor, right, that's it. Now, as you can see, we're smack in the middle of a sort of lethal mushroom, about ten miles across and a mile high. Yates, I can't stand. I can understand that part of it all right, but I can't you stand. Can't you explain the wider issues, Doctor? Doctor, yes, all right. Joe, Captain Yates, would you mind drawing the curtains? The Doctor sits behind a slide projector. Doctor, come on, Joe, stir your stumps. Now then, all right, now then, tell me, what's that? A purpose image of Ram's head and so the disc between its horns. Joe, it's Egyptian God, isn't it? Doctor, at the top of the class, Joe. Top of the class, that's right. That's the Egyptian God, Kamuru, with horns. There's another one, a Hindu demon, all with horns. Doctor, oh, thank you very much. There's an old friend, an old friend, a Hindu beast. Yes, I don't get it. Doctor, probably because I haven't finished, Captain Yates. Yates, oh, sorry, Doctor. Hawthorne, oh, you could go on all day and all night, showing us pretty pictures. I mean, horns have been a symbol of power ever since. Doctor, ever since man began, exactly. But why, all right, Captain Yates, the curtains? Now, creatures like these have been seen all over over again throughout the history of man. The man has turned into, them into myths, gods or devils, but they're neither. They're, in fact, Creatures from another world. Bending, do you mean like the axons, the Cybermen? Doctor, precisely why? Why only only far is far older, immediately more dangerous. Joe, they came here with spaceships at a tiny one up in the borough. Doctor, they were, you're right. They're right. That's right. They're demons from the planet Demos, which is Joe, six thousand light years away from the other side of the galaxy. Doctor, then they came to Earth nearly one hundred thousand years ago. Vickery's a dot, the good folk of the village have been gathered. Master, now you better explain to them why they've been called them together. Then leave the rest to me. Then say yes, meeting in order, please. Thank you, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Now, well, it seems to me we might get together and discuss the situation before it gets out of hand. Now it seems that old Vicar here has had a few thoughts on the subject. So I asked him to put it in word, in the word. Mr. Major Administrator. The closed hoof bar. Joe, a flag spaceship, 15 inches long. Doctor, that's right. Mind you, they land it's 200 feet long and 30 feet across. But they diminish it just as they diminish themselves, which accounts for the heat wave and the freeze up. Joe, uh, 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 uh. sorry, but did you say it again? I don't quite follow you. Doctor, oh, come on, Joe. E C E equal M C squared. Joe, you're the doctor. Doctor, look. When you lose mass, the energy has to go somewhere. 
gates I see, so we've got to deal with something that is neither too small or to the sea or is thirty foot tall. You serrate it, you, or freeze to death. Turn stone images and helmets of monsters. Looks like the every devil. Doctor, exactly. Benton, well, I still don't get it. I mean, what's the creature doing here? I mean, why did they come, ever come? Try to help the Homo sapiens kick up the volume of man. They've been coming and coming and going for ever since. Greek civilization, the Renaissance, the Industrial Revolution, the old spider, the demons. All fun, but this thing the professor get let loose is evil. You said it so yourself. Now we're trying to say they've been helping mankind for a hundred thousand years. Joe, so, yes, and you say they come from another planet. Well, then what are this jet about witchcraft and caverns and so? Don't, look, don't you see? All the magical tradition has been just rudiments, advanced science, and that is what the master is using, Holford. Then these creatures are linked with black arts. They, then these creatures are linked with black arts. They're evil. Don't they are moral, perhaps? Amoral, perhaps? They can help Earth, but on their own terms, it's scientific experiment to them. Just another laboratory rat. Yates, that's what the master's up to. Don't need to stuff you link between the link with the demons. What worries me is if he's a choice. Domination by my master. Total annihilation. Joe, what is this demon? What is this demon could do? Could destroy the world? Dada, what does any scientist do with an experiment that fails? He chucks in a rubbish bin. Joe, the end of the world. Rickard. Master, now as I told you, this is not going to be your same sermon. But all the same, I do big as for you to listen carefully because this could be the most important day of your lives now as you know I'm a newcomer among you and yet already I feel like I know you for instance you Mr. Falk are you still padding with grocery bills local gentry Falk what are you on about that's slander Master now now don't deny it if I know, and you, I know, and you, Charlie, what's your conscience? Do you think you'll manage to balance post project books in time? You, Mr. Grenville, has your wife come back from her sisters yet? Does she ever come back, do you suppose? Now, now, no, please, please do not get angry. But may I assure you that I'm on your side. Now, listen, you want to say, well, do, do what I say, you can all get whatever you, you want in this world. What do you want when you want it? If you listen to me, the clover is hoof far. Don't now the demon will appear three times. The third time he'll probably tell us what our fate is. B. It'll be in a cabin somewhere awaiting the master's second call. Benton, and then if we know where he is, why don't we go and find him? Doctor, you're wasting your time, Sergeant. At the moment, Doctor, you're wasting your time at the moment, Sergeant. At your time, Sergeant. This moment is so small, practically invisible. Joe, but Doctor, Doctor Joe. Must get me a... Joe, would you get me a piece of paper and pencil, please? Uh, dentist, but one that you care, care for a bite to eat. Ben, yes, please. Joe, no thanks. Just not right now. Doctor's a little busy. But all right. Oh, well, it's just, it's all right. I get... I get if I can get on with a bit of clearing out. Joe, yes, fine. If you could do it quite, though. But you wouldn't know I'm here. Joe, thank you. Beeps, beeps, beeps. Yates, Greyhound 2. Come in, please. Over. Mobile unit H mobile unit HQ mobile HQ. Good you that you, Yates. Now look, we're going to blast our way in. I'm calling up the artillery in RAF strike command. You better execute, evacuate the cellars. Cloven, Cloven Hoof Bar. Brigadier, OC over. Doctor Rock, give me that. Do you do no such thing, Bridge Stewart? On all the idiotic suggestions in the first place, the energy release, or any strength for the barrier. In the second place, provoke the most appalling reprisals. Third place, I've got a better idea. Over. Idea over. Unit Hotel. Mobile HQ. Brilliant. Well, what? Now I'm not going to sit here like a spare... Pause. A spare lemon waiting for the squeezer. You hear me? Over. 
the clavin hoof bar. Doctor, have you got all your mobile HQ there? Doctor HQOC. Yes, of course. Doctor, with a new Mark 4A contention unit, unit mobile HQ, Osgood Nodes. Osgood here, apparently. Doctor OC, good. And I got your problem solved in mind. We're going to build an Android energy stranger. Is your technology technical fellow there? But yeah, he's listening. The Coburn Hove Bar. Got it right. We are turning to build a EFY band width variable phase oscillator. A negative feedback circuit turnbuckle. Turnbuckle with a frequency of air molecule. Molecule. Of what the temperature is up at the barrier. Brigadier. Unit mobile HQ. Brigadier. What? We have no idea what you're talking about, Doctor Ober. The so Cloven Hoof Bar. Doctor, well, it's a simple enough question, Ober. Doctor, ready? No, no. What? What you said earlier? I was saying feedback a bit. Doctor, all right. I'll come out and explain it to you myself. Yates and Brendan can stay here and keep an eye out open. Don't you touch anything until I get there. Understood? That leaves. VOC. Well, all right, Doctor. We'll try out it your way. But let get a move on, will you? Doctor, I'll be with you in ten minutes. You each mobile HQ. Ready to make it five. Over now. The clover and the hoof bar. Joe, it's all all of all the utility plans. As if blowing things up solves anything. Doctor, oh Joe, the big deal is doing his best to cope with an almost possible situation. Since he's been uh, your superior he's your superior officer, you might as well show me a little you might might at least show him a little respect coming. Vicar's master, I ask what you want in life that I offer you to you to you. I tell you everything is possible. You do as I say everything, Bert enters. Bert minister minister stuff. Master, why are you to interrupt me? Bert the doctor is trying shh, master shh the master goes over to Bert listen this is while the villagers is murmurs loudly. Master's given Bert some instructions as he leaves. Master Gritteron, the Gritteron also gets whispered instructions and leaves. Master, now pleased, as I was willing to tell you, the whole world could be ours. I need two things, your submission, obedience to my will. Miss Stanley, what's all this about obedience and submission? You said we're going to rule. Master, you rule? Ha! Huh. Why, you're all less than dust beneath my feet. Miss Danny Preposterous. Master, you choose a question me, do you? Very well, I'll give you another choice. Obey me or shall destroy you. Miss Danny, if you're brave, if you're that shall be in the world, then keep it on getting out of here. If the rest of you have got any sense, to come with me. Thought I reckon the squire's right. Come on, let's get out of here. Up the stairs landing, Master concentrates, the book jumps in for the window. My master suggested the book makes Miss Stanley disappear. Master, right. Does anyone else agree with the squire? Thank you. It does my heart good to know I have a, such a willing band of followers. Now the day is my day. Go and enjoy yourself. Celebrate the festival. Your families. When I need you, I shall summon you again. Village Green. Yates spots Gritton. Getting out into getting into the unit helicopter. Runs out of the pub. He pulls Gritton out. They struggle. But Gritton is too much for Yates and does not even flinch. Gets punched in the jaw repeatedly. Finally, Gritton knocks Yates out, gets into the helicopter and takes off. A few minutes later, Yates recovers and tries shooting the, the helicopter and shoots as a motorcycle is parked edge of the green and commandeers it. Heat barrier, Joe, look. Doctor stops Bessie, the helicopter, lies the lower down at them. Doctor, what's happening? I told Yates and Brenton to stay in the pub. The helicopter makes a return pass. Doctor, who's flying that thing? That's not Brenton. Joe, well, it's certainly not Mike. Look, Brigadier is coming. The motorbike is coming up behind him. Joe, well, wherever it is, he's trying to kill us. Don't hang on, Joe. We're in for a jumpy ride. Bessie drives off. Yates comes up alongside. Yates, we're handling. He's handling up the expert. Doctor, like a man possessed, you mean? Look out, he's coming back. Yates, I'll try and draw him off. Doctor, no, you keep away. It's me, Doctor, not you. Yates peels away. Grinton buzzes Bert Bessie away. Within sight, in sight of the brigadier and his men. Brigadier, what's Captain Yates up to? You've killed a lot of them. 
Oscar, no, sir. That's Captain Yates over there. Yates is shooting at the helicopter again. Joe, what's he trying to do? Doctor, he's trying to dive, uh, drive us into the heat barrier. But he's heading straight to the heat barrier. Get back, get back. Bessie charges on the helicopter. Comes, goes in sideways. As it's on the helicopter, comes in sideways again. Joe, the heat barrier. We're heading straight for it. Really right. Back. Try to hang tight, Joe. Hang on tight now. The scorched earth within about ten meters feet away. Bear to throws Bessie hard to pull. Joe falls out. Britain can't make the right turn in time. Bring his helicopter. Bring his helicopter bursts into flames. Must see the plume of smoke from the church on the Abbey. Doctor Yates run over to, to where Joe is lying. Yates, how is she? Doctor, she's had a nasty knock on the head. She'll be all right. You better load her into Bessie. Take her back to the pub. She need she need rest and quiet for a bit. Yates, okay. What about you, Doctor? Well. I'd better go and have a word with the brigadier. He's probably bursting a blood vessel by now. Yates puts Joe into Bessie. While the doctor drives to the barrier on the motorcycle, church cabin, the master, the red robe, holds the bot back to his pedestal and stands before the altar. Brigadier, twenty twenty thousand pounds of unit money. Gone up in a puff of smoke, doctor. You've got the mind of an accountant, the bridge steward. So this is your heat barrier, is it? Brigadier, yes. I advise you to keep your distance. Doctor, yes. The doctor throws a small stone at the barrier. It indicates a flash. Doctor, hmm, you rock. Big Dagadier, wood, rock, if four inch armor plate, you name it. We tried it, it's impregnable. So a hasty and accurate assessment, Brigadier. Tell me, have you got enough cable to reach those high tension pythons over there? Brigadier, why? Yes, we should, we should have, should have, why? Doctor, well, we need at least 10,000 volts to get through this lot. Go through this lot, Brigadier. All right. I'll leave things on. Doctor, good. Very please hurry. We have to very little time left. Oh, good ear. Oh, Sergeant so Good's good. Oh, it's good, sir, Brigadier. You better come and listen to the doctor. Got the building to build a wretched thing. Oh, it's good. What's the principle, sir? Doctor, for the negative, the derivative, Sergeant. But for the molecule movement, the air, the reversal phase. Short waves, it's quite simple. Oh, it's good, simple, it's impossible. Doctor, yes. Well, according to classical aerodynamics, it's possible for a bumblebee to fly. Kevin Church, Church Kevin, the master's getting an, an, give, giving an invocation ceremony underway. Master, by the power of earth, by the power of air, by the cabal of diurnal, and walls of the deep, I conjure thee and charge these ebbers all. Arise, arise, so that my command is all. Arise, arise, clover hoof. Get room, Joe is the breadwinner. Joe, the cabin. He said the danger was in the cabin. We all just like, lie still, my dear. Try and relax, Joe, but the bee's work won't hurt. This won't hurt, Joe. But, Doctor, I must help him find the master. Jake's keep it easy, Joe. As soon as he gets back, we'll go and follow the master out. Now, don't worry, wait to Reeves for late, Joe. Joe, but we must go now. There's no time to. Reeves, that's better. A few hours of sleep for your bright as rain. Church cabin, master. Heave it all, here we are. Heave it all, heave away. As all I will speak to you, show yourself. Tell me the cabin plummets. There's something that was very small, rips the energy in the air in order to become very large again. Master fails to the ground, staring up at his, what he has summoned. Tremors run ripple for the earth, all the way to barrier, and Joey cup Joe. Cloven hoof bar. Glass, the furniture goes flying as the church bells are shaken to ring the tower. Hawthorne, the demon, it had comes out. He comes out, or oh, we shall die, church cabin. Martha, no, no, stop. Get back to the, go back to the mark. Go back. You destroy me. No, no.